Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Commission of Gamers. We just got the... what is it? The... it's crown. It's just the horn crown, because honestly... Jagged crown. God, how could I not forget... how could I forget that? Well, whatever, it happened. Anyway, got the jagged crown out of the thing. Where are my men? Alright, that's right. We were in the dungeon, and everyone said they're staying there because they hate themselves, basically. They, they want to stay there and look for treasure. Okay. Well, I don't feel like walking. of Skyrim is cold and unforgiving. Windhelm is the snowiest city in the province. Oh good, it looks like the loading screens have been bettered. Here's to friendship. A gift. If you don't like it, too bad. Wait, what? You sicken me. King? Soon enough, we will march on Solitude. And on that day, the heroes of Sovereign Guard will march with us. And the Empire will fall to its knees in fear. The Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim's silver makes them fierce. But rest assured, we'll win the reason. Yes, sir. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Several undead. The blood of our fallen heroes will make Skyrim free. Never doubt it. Also, never doubt me or Garmar. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of Whiterun. Oh no. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. And my axe. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. I don't think I want to go kicking him out there. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Ringstack. Haven't I already started going Dawn Guard like twice? Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Need something? There's a there's a corpse, so. Nothing to see here. Oh boy. Everybody act natural. An 
another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. I can't wait to murder your entire family. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fist. Why aren't you terrifying? That's the small child. A child. Okay, we don't mind. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Just, you know, checking to see. There's a father says I'm too young to train right, the sword, that one. so I practice with my fist. Do these people ever sleep? Ha! Absurd that you can't get good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I'll be glad to help. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Honestly, let's just get this out of the way. Very now. well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? No. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. May the gods watch over your battle, friend. No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt, General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. Sooner than you think, man. But that day like, like has this... not come yet. I... Uh... <laughs> Plot twist. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Juventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun, as in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelem. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. You are if so Ulfric dead. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. 
But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. Put your hands just disproportionate. The didn't hurt. Damn it. This isn't about gold. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Tullius. Oh, it's going down. I need to make a few things clear. Before I accept these legionnaires. Poof! We're gonna do a last sweep of the entire house. Because I don't remember the state this place is in afterwards. I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the Jarl himself takes his. My cabbages. <laughs> ah, here we are. Apparently everything in here is mine. Apparently. Crap. So we'll loot the place, and then once the looting is done, we will... That's where the wine is, huh? You know what? Screw it. I'm confident. Oh yeah. I regret nothing. Here, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Hold this. I am at your command. Damage fifteen, weight ten. Damage fifteen, weight thirteen. Hold this. Lead on. Rorikstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If a dragon attacks, well, then it'd be a different story. Okay, did I grab the gem in here? There was a gem in here. I think it was right there, and I think I already grabbed it. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Somebody's gonna steal your face. It's probably gonna be me, because I'm probably gonna be kicking it in in the next episode. It's not your fault. I mean, that's that's not fair for me to take my anger out on you guys. You guys didn't choose to work under him. Right? right. 
I mean, that would just be crazy. Honestly, I think I'd take more issue with his bloody children than I did with him. But I respect his decision and hope to meet him peacefully on the battlefield and then possibly carve out his eyes. Not by personal preference, mind you. Just something that's gonna happen. Actually, let's be honest. Ulfric's probably just gonna shout him off a cliff. Because, you know, that's what I do. Okay, let's put it this way. Buddy, I myself have difficulty killing those things. And if I have problems, you, sir, are going to have all kinds of problems. <sighs> Boy. Whatever, let's, uh. Oh, grab. Wrong house. Wrong house! Oh, look at this. Lydia's room. Okay. My sweet room. Oh. Right, this is my armor. My armor chest. Got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. Lead on. But you do it so well, Lydia. My team. Oh, yeah. It is simply just a normal war axe. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes. Mm hmm. Adrian at her forge. Just places named after her. War maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Adrian at her forge, just outside. Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. I know you would, man. Okay, we're gonna go give this to this guy now.
certain items. All the items. The storm cloaks are finding. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Travel safely. It's dangerous. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us. But if he wants to throw his men away, I'll gladly accept that gift. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Belmar. Again. I'm in no mood to joke. Speak the word, my lord. He's expecting White word from White Shores. White Run is only a means to an end. Hi, buddy. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Speak Whenever with Ulfric. He's expecting word from Whiterun. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No. Speak with Ulfric. But He's expecting word from Whiterun. To Shut up. That order when we must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves storm cloaks because they believe in you. <clears throat> they are the meanest toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. As long as y'all tone down the racism. White Run's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around White Run are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself. But I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet if you would only ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right. This is it. Yes. Send the word. I've A been waiting for this for 20 years. And the sun rises over White Run. I and the and sons of Skyrim will drink that dawn with teeth and swords blood. flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Run. I want you on the front lines. Eight. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. I want you there. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. And also with you. where we end. So, tune in next time for another exciting episode of the Commission of Gamers, where we will start the Siege of Whiterun. Which, honestly, it, it makes me a little sad that we have to, but wars have fought like this. It's not something you can get around. Thanks for watching. Bye.